information debt by $3 trillion over a decade. So it's very clear to all of us that this massive package is full of all kinds of budget tricks, the budget gimmicks that will not come close to footing the bill for the radical
place he was created. God didn't never want us to live in the same place that he was created. Because if that was the case, even though see, we, we, go to, we go to work out there, we have certain things we do out there, but we don't live out there. Praise the Lord. We don't, we, don't, we, don't, we don't do the things that you used to do before you received the Holy Ghost. Before God took you out of the world and placed you in here, in this kingdom. Not necessarily this building, but the kingdom. Because the kingdom is spiritual. The kingdom of God and the spiritual church is spiritual. But God took you out of that, which you were in a spiritual place out there in the world. Even though the things they did stand in death when were physical, we can touch people, you know, I can shake your hand, feel the blood, and, and all of that stuff, hello, two smiles, and all of that stuff. But spiritually, we were in a place where we were on our way to hell, and God poured us in, great Presbyterian church, so that we could be saved. So that we can be protected from what's coming. Amen. Amen. Because undoubtedly, praise the Lord, when you think about it, if you hadn't been in church when the COVID came, you might have been dead now. Praise the Lord. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Me too. If it hadn't been for what God done. See, I, 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 I don't. I, I think like this, and I don't expect everybody to think like I think, but I think like this. Now, see, I know that we have a death date. I, I, I know that there is a, a date stamped on every one of us. And you don't know when that date is, what day that is, that is, is God going to require you. Praise the Lord. He's going to call you. You don't know the date. Praise the Lord. But we do have a death date. You have, you have a date on you. You have a stamp on you. Praise the Lord. And you don't know, praise the Lord, if you had not been in the church, you had not been in the house of God, you can turn that up. You had not been in the house of God, your, 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 your date may have came. And then as a matter of fact, it, it, you know, some people's date did come and God spared it. But uh, this is the day that you're going to die. You're going to smoke some dope, you're going to drink, you're going to party, you're going to get drunk. You're going to get in the car with somebody you don't know, and then you'll never be seen again until the day that God does the, 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 the wicked and the judgment. Throw your body in the river somewhere. You don't know what the devil has planned. You don't know. Praise the Lord. We don't know. And sometimes, you know, we sit like, you know, we, we just got, you know, we, we, we good, but you don't know what has transpired spiritually. We don't know. Praise the Lord. We don't know. And because we don't know and it don't come up, we don't think about it. We just go about our business. But we've got to be about our father's business. See, we got to be about winning souls. We got to be about, praise the Lord, keeping our eyes, our spiritual eyes open to what's taking place and what's going on. Can you say praise the Lord? Somebody clap their hands and give God a praise and say thank you. Praise the Lord. So can you think about this? When the Bible talks about the, the, the giving, you know, the Bible talks about Revelation giving power to the beast. You think about this. You, the power comes through electricity. And so when we think about giving power to the beast, you know, the government is the beast. And if the government can see the power, this is why we're having a problem with gas, energy bills going up. Things are skyrocketing. And these people got a nerve to tell folks, you know, that uh, it's going to get worse and you just need to get prepared to turn off your, your, your AC during the summer. Then they're talking about blackouts that's coming because there is no enough energy to generate everything all over the world. Because it's cold. It's heating. And there's a war on it. Biden came in and set all of that stuff down and shut down the pipeline that brings oil to us and then gave it to the Russians. And so we're seeing our gas prices high because they're trying to go solar or green, if you will. And they got this big massive spending deal that they passed and got all of this stuff in there. There's one thing, that's why these people get paid so much. Your people up there in 
Congress, they get paid a lot because they have to read these thousands of pages to find out what's in it. But people be voting for stuff and they say, yeah, it's good and this, but they don't know what else is in there. Amen. See, praise God. And those people read that stuff and then, you know, they, they have a, everybody in the White House up there at the end of the day, they ain't they ain't saved either, but some people got some more. And they'll tell you the truth about what's going on. They'll tell you, and see, if this is what's happening, what they're trying to do is create a civil war. So when they arrest, when, when, when they when they ransack some house, they raided this, this mansion down there, they want people to get in an uproar, and then so they can call a civil war, so they can lock down everything and go on with the reset, or their one world government, one world order, one world term. Praise the Lord. And I often wonder when this stuff starts to really happen as far as not being in the closet, not being behind closed doors, but it's really out and in people's face. You know, I wonder, you know, because we say a lot of stuff, and I can say a lot of stuff too, about what I would do when it happened. Yeah. Praise the Lord. But everybody ain't willing to give up their life. I would ask that question once before, and you know, people were willing to, you know, everybody ain't willing to give up their life. The life that you know here, once this Antichrist, once things go, once this come and, and start happening, your life here ain't worth it. It ain't gonna be no good. It'll be no good to stay here. So the government wants you to bow. This is the whole purpose of the peace system. I want you to bow to whatever we tell you to do. And in order to do that, I got to make it hurt. The government said, I got to make it hurt. Gas prices got to go up. Inflation, food shortages, different things like gas prices. You know, they, they got to do things that affect not the rich folks, but people like us, middle class people. People like us. I know good and well I can't afford no. $60,000 battery powered vehicle. Praise the Lord. Now maybe you can, but I can't. But all of this is taking place, all of this is forming. It's forming, it's forming, it's forming. And see, I have an obligation, the Bible tells the preacher to cry loud and spare not. So I have an obligation to cry loud. When I see the wolf coming, when I see danger coming, when I see what's going on, I'm supposed to tell you what's going on. I'm supposed to cry loud. Praise the Lord. Get me Genesis 3 and verse number 15. Praise the Lord. Tell somebody, I'll work out there. I even live in a house in the world. I didn't do business in the world, but I'm not a part of the world. Hallelujah. You ought to tell them thank you that you're not, because you want work. Praise the Lord. Genesis 3 and 15, read what that says. And I'll put in it. See, I'm going to put hatred between me and the world. You know what's happening, thank you, God. There's, there's no longer hatred for the devil. There's no longer hatred. Amen. There's, there's, there's not. It's not on a wide scale. There's no longer hatred for the devil. And the devil is like some fictional spirit and character, some, 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 not real. It ain't really real because I don't see him, but I see him every day. I hear him every day. When I go out and get out of my house and go outside, and I, I feel him. When I go to stores, I He's a real folk. He is free. Adam fell, fall caused the garden of God to be occupied by a satanic force, which was Satan himself. 
And this is why God had to put Adam out of the garden. But when God put Adam out of the garden, he put Adam out of the garden, and Adam went back to the earth that he was created in. The garden was in one location on the east, and when he was created, he went back out there in the earth that he was created because in the garden, the garden had become corrupted, and now the devil had dominion over the world, and Adam lost his dominion, he lost his power, and he became a subject to the satanic forces of the devil, just like anybody else. And see, and this is why Jesus came. This is why he came in the form of a man. He came back to take back what Adam lost. And in order for God to do that, he recruited people like us and filled us with the Holy Ghost to facilitate the taking back of the kingdom. Amen. Amen. I, I want you to follow with me. And people, we don't we don't understand what our purpose is. So we, we just think we, you know, I got the Holy Ghost and I, I want to do something else. I want to do that. I want to do that. I want to do that. But did you don't understand the reason why God chose you and put the Spirit in you? Because you are supposed to help facilitate the taking back of what the devil took from Adam. What Adam gave up. Can you say hallelujah? hallelujah. Can you clap your hands and just give him praise? Adam lived under the influence of demonic spirits. We are living in a world under the influence, not that it influenced us, but the influence is there. We see it every day. What do you think that it makes a person want to kill you? What do you think it is? You know, is it, is it, is it a demon or is it is it an influence of one? But what do you think that make a person lie on you? What do you think that causes a person to want to attack you? What, what, what do you think that comes from? That's the influence of demonic spirits. And these demonic spirits are all around. They're in the world. They're everywhere. And they're trying to creep into the church. They're trying to get our children. That's the target. The children is the target. That's why a lot of stuff is targeted towards them. Subliminal messages in the stuff that they look at. Subliminal messages and things that you don't see with your natural eye, and that's how they got it because they want you to miss it. Because if you see it, you're going to do something about it. I hope you're going to do something about it. But you have to put it in ways that it, you can't really see it unless it's pointed out to you. Sometimes you can't see what the devil is doing. It's got to be pointed out to you. Sometimes you can't see the spirit, man. It's got to be pointed out to you. And the Lord, I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm just talking personal. But I'm talking personal. And, 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 and I'm talking with conviction. And that is, praise the Lord. I, 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 I'm not doing this to go to hell. I'm not preaching and teaching to go to hell. I'm not telling you what you need to hear, praise the Lord, and then go to hell. And it's, this is, it's in my heart. The love of God is in my heart. And it's got to be in your heart because what you're going to face, if, if, if it's not in your heart, you will turn Jesus in. Jesus came in the gospel. Satan also came and he had a manifestation through Judas. So he had one manifestation, the devil in Judas, the devil, God in flesh in Jesus, and then God is going to return again, but you know what? The Antichrist, he's going to return, so Satan is going to return again too. Now his spirit is already here. He just don't have a body to operate in. As the Antichrist. Praise the Lord. Somebody say hallelujah. hallelujah. Somebody say thank you, Jesus. Thank you. So, what's going to save people from what's coming? What's going to save our children from what's coming? What's going to be done to put it in our children 
about what's coming. What are you going to do? What am I going to do to be saved and escape the judgment of God? What am I going to do or what am I willing to do, praise the Lord, to hear God say in the end, well done, thou good and faithful servant, enter ye into the door of the Lord. What do I have to do? I've got to give up some stuff. I have to give up a lifestyle that I might want. You got to give up something. And in the time that we're living in, we got to give up more than what we're willing to give up. We hold on to more than we give up. He said that song, he wants it all. Oh yeah, God wants it all. I said he wants it all. He says it like God wants it all. Want it all. Get me. Second Corinthians 4, 3 to 4. I know we're familiar with this scripture. But Satan have see, he positioned himself in this world, in this earth, to be the God of this world. He positioned himself. Once Adam failed, he took the authority that we were supposed to have. This is why Jesus came and gave up the Holy Ghost so that we can see the Holy Ghost, so that we can get some power back, so we can get dominion back, so we can get some control back. Look what it says. Uh huh. But if I come to you, yes, yeah. we need to live in the law. We need to go to the law. For whom the God of this world, see, he is the God of this world. Liberty. God of this world. Praise the Lord. Mm -hmm. Has blinded the minds of them. And he has blinded the minds of first person. Blinded the minds of people. I can no longer see the importance of why I even come to church. I don't necessarily even see the importance anymore. Or why? I got to be in a building because I, 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 I feel like I can be saved anywhere. I hope you realize you're struggling here. Yeah. Yeah. All of these things that are happening, all of these things that are going on, and all these things, and I know, praise the Lord, and sometimes I see, I, I see, I see it, I understand. I understand sometimes how you feel. And sometimes I understand that what you feel has been placed there by the devil. It's not you, it's not your thoughts, but the devil put those thoughts there. Now I like for you to, to, to say, yeah, all I know that is true. That's all a part of the system. That's all a part of him trying to get somebody. See, the, 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 listen, you got to know that you are a target for the devil. You got to know that you are never off his list. You got to know that. Thank you, Lord. And I realize I'm never off his list. Thank you, Lord. Even if things go well for a couple of days, I know it ain't off his list. Yeah. Right. Even if things go well for you, and if you ain't off his list. Yeah. Praise the Lord. Because God told you you had an adversary and he's going to put some hatred between you and the devil. Where's the hatred? Where's the hatred? Where's the hatred? Because if the devil can talk me into some stuff, then I have no hatred for him. So first of all, you don't, you don't listen to people that you hate. Where's the hatred? For the God of this world. Amen. Where's the hatred of the church for this demonic spirit, this fallen angel that has taken so many people to hell? So many people in their good outfit. So many people in their nice homes. So many people in their nice cars. So many people in, in, with their bank accounts. He's taken so many people. Many people. The world may not have it. We don't expect them to have it. But where's the church hatred for the 
demon, for the spirit. Yet we know Jesus came to die, but where's the hatred? He killed my master. He killed my Lord. They just, they just, it, was, it, was, it, was, it was it was in the plan, but I still hate him for what he's done. Thank you, say for what you're doing, and I still hate you. Oh, 